Hello guys, in this video we're gonna talk about inventory and loot system we're going to have in the game. We kinda have a good base prototype of the game with abilities and battle system that feels good in my opinion. Now my task to make this game more RPG-ish, I would say. I have an idea of what I want to see. It's going to be a simple inventory, not big number of slots, so this game doesn't turn into another D&D simulator. If you ever played games like Kingmaker or Pillars of Eternity, you might know it feels pretty complicated if you are not familiar familiar with the concept. Recently I felt it myself and it's the reason I dropped Pathfinder after a couple of hours of playing and I guess I'll not come back to that game even though I love RPG games. So I have a task to avoid that complexity but still make it somewhat interesting to design uh, your own build. Let me introduce the slots I've planned so far. Uh, we have a weapon and it will have basic stats such as damage, crit chance uh, and what's most important some unique effects. I want to have an attack my modifier that will burn, freeze or electrify enemies, plus unique modifiers that will modify your ability. If I would give you an example of improving uh, one of the ability we have, uh, for example we can say that sword throwing ability would pierce through different targets and not stop when hitting the first one. And to increase the power of the items, on the same example it could pierce small targets or even make this sword bounce between targets. Regarding the armor, I don't want to make anything like really big about it but maybe some kind of knockback of all of the enemies when HP is below 10% or something like that will do as a unique modifier but that should be high level items that is really difficult to get because players are supposed to die in this game a lot just like in Moonscars that we took as a reference yeah we still want this game to be difficult the high value items supposed to be difficult to get as well but we're gonna talk later about how we're gonna get the items for now let's jump to another slot and it's gonna be a flask in Dark Souls you can fill up your flask at checkpoints and use it again and I like that but I want to combine that with flask effect from Pass of Exile for those who don't know in Pass of Exile you have flask with special effects like different buffs and modifiers that somehow make you stronger. So that's what I'm planning to do. Some additional buff, for example it could be a dodge chance, drop rate, invincibility, anything that comes in your mind that you've seen before in other RPG games. And the last one over here you can see is the necklace. Actually I chose necklace only for the sake of easier understanding, but what it's going to do is something special. When I was a teenager I played a lot of Lineage 2. It's an MMORPG that is in the heart of many people till this day and there is one class with these unique abilities. Chilling Knight or another one was Elven Knight I guess, so he could summon different spheres with different effects. Some of them would paralyze the enemy, some of them would heal you, another would throw a thunder strike on enemy's head, and I always liked that mechanic. Yeah, but I never dreamed I could make it on my own. And I'm so happy I decided to learn Unity one day, because now I can turn any my childish idea into reality. Well, not reality, but you know what I mean, right? So this is what I'm planning to do later in development. To summarize the slot uh, item, necklace will allow you to summon different type of spheres with different purpose, so you can shape your build as you like. We could do a lot more slots like boots, belt, but there's no sense in it until we have basic system working. You can see I used white sprites as a placeholder, my hero can pick up items and you can see I made them stackable in one slot. I did it because I want to have materials and craft system in this game. There is no really a point of putting craft for the sake of crafting, but once this game is done I will turn it into a complete tutorial so my viewers and students can make same game on their own and I want to show them how to do crafting logic as well. You know, I kinda hate when developers getting greedy and selling inventory or stash slots. I hate when I have lots of materials in the game and I don't know if I'll need them so I keep it all and it makes some bunch of trash in your inventory and it bothers you a lot. So what I will do instead is two different tabs. One with endless stash for materials and just another tab for inventory items that can store slots I showed you before. Now we cannot go far with the white placeholder so I took these icons, they look pretty decent I would say and I already can imagine 
how cool it will be with different weapons, different effects on the enemies, different materials. Gonna be great RPG, I guess. And this is not my first RPG, and I hate coming up with names and modifiers for different items. It's just so tedious to do. So while we are prototyping this, I won't push too much with them. I can fix that later. For now, I need to make the system work. And also I want to modify UI a little bit. The classic example of the UI in old RPGs that you can see your character kind of in the middle and inventory on the right side. But I don't see a point of doing it in this game. I think it's better to make full screen UI so you can see more information. I'm no designer at all so I'll do something that I like and I think is good enough. I could buy a good asset pack to make it look better but I want this tutorial to be as affordable as it can be so I need to use only free assets. By the way my name is Alex and if you like what I do please subscribe to the channel and also I want to say thank you to people who are with me now. I'm about to hit 1000 and just now I realized what's the number. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Um, well I promise to you I will do something special about it just so we can celebrate. Um, regarding the game. I think this minimalistic UI with these curved vibes will do good for this game. Now we need some good font. One of the resources I use called fonts.google.com. Pretty good stuff you can find here and it's free. So this is the result I've got for UI. Let's see it in the game. This is the character panel. Here we're gonna have stats like damage, HP, equipment is here, souls counter and inventory itself. Another window I have here going to have crafting recipes on the left, souls counter, info about item we're going to craft and materials that are stored here. Well, that's it for this video. Don't forget to leave the comment and subscribe. And remember, we don't play games, we make them.